Hey, ACG fam. Let me turn my light on so y'all can see my beautiful face. Oh, adjust, damn it. There we go. There we go. I just want y'all to. Ooh, look at that hair. What the hell is that all about? My hair is all screwed up because I didn't do what I was supposed to do last night. My hair. Yes, every now and then I just like go to sleep on it, but I woke up this morning looking like I shot the sheriff. That's what I woke up this morning looking like. I am so, 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 fucking stressed out. So this is a, this is not a vlog for kids. If you have kids in the room, tell them to leave. I'm going to cuss so damn much about this fucking protocol that I, I just want to vent about it, you know? And some people are going to be so mad at me, right? But I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to say this. I'm going to mean this. Maybe I'm just venting because I'm pissed off at myself. But who blames themselves? Nobody. So I'm just going to fucking blame HCG. Okay? And Dr. Simeon's in his fucking protocol. Let me tell you something. Come up with a better protocol where I can take my crack and eat my fucking ice cream and my Cheetos, whatever the fuck I want to eat, and still lose my weight. Now that's the fucking cure to obesity. <laughs> Not some damn protocol where you still have you have to like uh, eat healthy all the time and you have to be like five hundred. Like if I tweak it and I go over, like some people could do like the eight hundred calories and I just lose my weight for like take forever for me to lose my weight. I can't do that. I can't I can't do that. If I tweak my 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 intake, I don't lose. I have to do the five hundred or less in order for me to lose. And with the stress that's going on in my life with packing and the stress that's going on in my life with other issues that are personal, not really personal. I mean, my life is pretty damn good and pretty damn simple. But trying to make these life changing decisions in my all up in my head right now is just very frustrating. My outlet is usually to paint or to write or to draw and I'm just not feeling that right now. Nothing's helping me right now. I just wanna fucking drink some rum and Red Bull and party like a rock star. I'm so freaking stressed out. Like it's not even a joke. I want some fucking ice cream. Like, if it was on the floor, I'd pick that shit up and eat it. I want ice cream so bad. Like, I ate sherbet. And it didn't hit my spot. So now I ate the sherbet and I still want some fucking ice cream. I mean, what is up with this shit? The more... The more... Um... Phases that you add on to your protocol, the harder it gets. I mean... I don't know. Nobody I can sit here and tell me that the protocol is so fucking easy for them. And they don't cheat ever. Yet those people that say they never ever cheat. I shouldn't say that. I believe you. I believe you never cheat. But I also believe that you were probably never a real fat ass to begin with. True fat ass is cheat. True fat ass is cheat. I guess you gained weight from what? I don't know air, I gain weight from food. I gain weight from eating food. And then you can do this protocol and not cheat and be all perfect, perfect, perfect. It's hard, yo. It's freaking, fucking, fucking, fucking hard. I'm so stressed out. I just want to, like, stuff my face and do my hair. 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 You see, El Melo Seven Hundred Nine is losing her fucking mind. I think I I don't even know how long I've been in P two right now. But people that started when I started already finished. They're like, okay, I'm into P three now. I'm like.
you done. I'm still here. Maybe the longer rounds are weighing a toll on my body and my mind. I honestly met my husband at 185, I think, or something like that. Like, basically what I look like now, I met my husband. And trying to really, like, get below there and stay there is very hard. Like, my body's not interested in being that small. Um, so, what are you going to do, L? Are you going to go into P3? And just say, fuck this shit. I know I can't say fuck this shit now because I don't have the support to make me um, maintain. So I'm basically just using my crack to maintain, to be honest with you. I'm using my crack and my Ducalox and my booty to maintain. Then I have all these like fuck ups. Like I'm so upset with myself because I was doing so good and then the world was supposed to end and it didn't. And now I look like a jackass. <laughs> I'm just playing. I knew the world wasn't going to end. But I'm saying, though, I had my little rapture party, right? <clears throat> and I eat all this fucking food, bro. And then you wake up in the morning and you feel like shit. And then when you wake up in the morning, people are still bringing food over. Like, try this. And you're like, it's bread. And I ate it. I freaking ate it. Anyways, let me stop venting. I'm straight up venting, okay? I want a protocol where I can eat whatever the hell I want and be skinny. And that does, that's, there is no protocol for that. But when somebody come up with that stuff, let me know, okay? Because feeling full doesn't stop me from eating. Sometimes I don't even need to have a craving to stuff something in my mouth. Come on now, let's be real. Let's, how often do you really eat what you're craving? Let's be real. We just eat because we want to eat. Because it feels good. Depression. I mean, it's. I heard in some, some show I was watching, the guy was like, um, when you eat things you like, it triggers some shit in your head and makes you feel good. Oh my. Sometimes eating feels good. Like, good sex. Like, oh. You're sipping, you're sipping on that fucking float. You're like, You know, I'm, is it just me? Maybe it's just me. I'm the only weirdo. Only crackhead out there is a freaking weirdo. But, um, I know some of you are gonna be like, oh, snap out of it. Maybe you should just stop and take a fucking break or whatever. Just, you look good. Why are you still on? I know people are gonna say stuff like that. I know y'all are. On that note, I wanna say, what's up? Oh, I want to do a special hey to Susie. I love my Susie. She's so sweet. Skinny ass. Freaking skinny. You need to change your, your little picture, yo. you skinny ass chick. Um, but <clears throat> that's all. I'm done. Eight fucking minutes of venting. Eight and a half. I don't know. But on that note, peace and don't cheat.